What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my completed No Limits 2 control panel. I finally finished this thing after months and months and months of working on it. And it's finally done and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So if you guys are enjoying my content, make sure that you guys like and subscribe. And let's just jump right into this. So um, the reason why this took so long was because I have no prior coding experience. So it was really an uphill battle when it came to actually programming the thing. So it took two or three months to actually get it programmed and then a couple of weeks to buy the parts and then a couple days to assemble it the right way. So it took a little while to get this thing done, but it's all worth it because this thing works amazing and it's really, really, really fun to play with. Um, and if I can do it, then you guys can do it. So if I came into this with no prior coding experience, I had never wired up a panel in my life, I've never touched an Arduino in my life before this, but if you have, if I can do it, you guys can do it. So let's just let's just take a look here. Let's go over our buttons here. So we've got our control power. We've got our chassis and floor. So this will just low raise and lower the uh, chassis and floor. We've got our ride stop reset and operations type. So this will toggle between our operations type and operations type two includes the floor. Operations type one doesn't. And then this also resets our ride stop. Here we got our ride stop. And then we've got our dual dispatch. On either side there, we've got our restraints button and our uh, gates open and close switch. And so let's um, let's just get right into this uh, and uh, let's start turning on the panel. So when you first turn on the switch, there we're met with a lamp test here. So we can see that all lamps are working and it's directing you to push the ride stop button. So we're going to do a stop test here. Stop works going to reset it. You reset it by holding the reset button. And uh, now we're in and now we're going into the uh, main part of our code. And so I'm just going to load up a coaster no limits to real quick. And I'll continue with showing you how this whole thing works. So you can see here that we've loaded up a coaster and no limits too. However, we do not have control over the floor. So if I push this button, nothing's gonna happen. As you can see, the floor is not raising or lowering. So what we have to do is push and hold this operations type button, and this will switch us into our second operations type. And now you can see that the floor button is enabled and we can either go ahead and dispatch or engage the floor. So there it goes. Floor is coming up. And then we can open up those restraints and open up those gates. And now we can close the gates, close the restraints, disengage the floor, and the cool thing about this dispatch is that I can either choose to have it dispatch and have to hold it, or I can just wait until the lights go solid and then I can let go. So once the lights are solid, I can let go and that train is out of here, or I can continue to hold them. And then the next train comes on in. And we can engage the floor open up those harnesses and open up those gates so a lot of people helped me with this project because like I said I don't have any prior coding experience so it was really kind of difficult for me so I want to thank you I want to thank Six Flags Great America fan um, He's awesome, he has an amazing channel and a really cool No Limits 2 control panel and he helped me quite a bit with the assembly and wiring part of this project and so I really appreciate the help, thanks so much Matt. And then Lev's Inventions, Lev did an awesome job helping me with some of the code for this and he's a really nice guy and I want to thank him so much for his efforts in trying to help me. And then Airboss, he's an amazing dude and he also helped me with the programming side of this and he also has some really cool No Limits 2 stuff. 
So if you're interested, make sure to check him out because he is a really nice guy and definitely deserves a sub and a like. And then my last person that helped me was Finn from Acidum and he is just amazing. He did such a good job helping me with programming this thing. He stuck it out because I'm a serious noob with this so I don't really know too much about it. So he stuck it out and helped me for a really long time and I really appreciate all of the people that helped me and all of these guys have YouTube channels so I'll link them all in the description below so make sure to go check them out and just one more quick thing before I go um, the ride stop after I dispatch this train I'll show you a ride stop so floor again is gone and we can get this train out of here And we'll wait for the next train to start to come in. And then you can see the train stops. And I have to push and hold this button to restart the panel and the train. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!